good morning. I'm changing this channel. Uh, it's been business Aaron up until now. Uh, hasn't even really been business Aaron because I haven't been doing anything business related. So it just doesn't make sense for this channel to be named business Aaron. So now it's just biz Aaron. That's the name I originally came up with in around 2000 to be my internet handle. It was just a name that I picked uh, that suited me. It was available. I guess I bought the dot com back in 2000 and that's what I've been on the internet ever since. And then I sort of expanded it to a full name business Aaron because I was um, working for, I, I was in a social media career for a while uh, quite a while actually and then I changed the channel and made videos about social media as business Aaron but I don't do that anymore funny enough I run my own business now but I don't want to be called business Aaron anymore figure that one out no I just I want this to be a creative project uh, I just want it to be um, fun and conversational. Yeah, we can talk about social media and YouTube and stuff like that here, but uh, I'm not pigeonholing my channel into the tutorial category. I may talk about my business sometimes. I'm just going to talk about whatever. Uh, there's going to be no format, no rhyme or reason. When I'm looking for a channel to watch, that's the kind of channel I want to find. So when I come across channels that are very specific and niched for some reason I'm not into that right now uh, I'm just into people talking about whatever but I will say that um, one category on YouTube that I have found quite interesting lately which is very niche is the carnivore community because I eat a carnivore diet now um, but I'm not going to talk about that today. I'm curious to know if you're subscribed to my channel, who's here and who's been here for a while and who's watching from the subscription feed. Uh, these days, I think it's safe to assume that subscribers and number of subscribers really does not matter because more often than not, videos come up in the recommended feed. People, I don't even know if people are, are watching their subscriptions feed anymore. And I don't even know if people are watching their subscriptions feed anymore if it's actually really working properly. So I think it's safe to assume that when somebody subscribes to your channel, it's not a guarantee that you have a, a, a viewer for life or a viewer you, the, the amount of viewers that you have is supposed to be equal to the number of subscribers. The way I see subscribership is not a commitment of any sort whatsoever. All I see it as is somebody came along and they liked your channel in that moment and they subscribed because they want to remember to go back and watch your videos again later and then what YouTube does is if they watch your videos on a semi-regular basis YouTube will do their job and show you those videos repeatedly. Whether you're in your subscriptions feed or whether you're just on the home feed or whether it's just recommending stuff to you. That's been my experience uh, with browsing YouTube is that there are a number of channels that I did not subscribe to because I didn't necessarily like the channel. I didn't necessarily want to save the channel for later to go back and look at it, but I watched a number of the videos 
from the channel. And so it's almost like I am subscribed to the channel because YouTube just keeps showing me random videos from that channel. And then if I'm done with watching videos from that channel, I tell YouTube, don't show me this stuff anymore. You go in and you say you're not interested or, I don't know, there's some function in there, don't, don't show me these videos anymore. Look at me talking about business again, social media. Anyway, it might happen, but hey, that's how I browse YouTube. Yeah, I look for channels that these days, I look for channels that are very nondescript, not flashy, no flashy thumbnails. It looks like somebody just talking to the camera. That's all, that's all I want. That's really all I want in my feed, unless I need to research a topic, and I'm so passionate about the topic that I need to, to subscribe to their channel. Otherwise, I'm not gonna subscribe to their channel. I'm gonna train YouTube to know that I'm interested in that topic by watching the videos, and YouTube's just gonna show me stuff. And yeah, I know you're supposed to like stuff. I Okay, I like videos. You know, the thumbs up. I give them the thumbs up. But I'm not gonna subscribe to somebody's channel if I don't necessarily like the channel, but I just like a few videos. And I don't want anybody to subscribe to my channel unless you like my channel. If you like a few, to, few of my videos, great, whatever. YouTube will, YouTube is smart enough to know whether it's gonna show you my videos on a regular basis, whether you subscribe or not. And I have full confidence in that. Now, maybe that's just the uh, uh, attitude or opinion from somebody who's not really interested in blowing up on YouTube or making a living on YouTube right? Because that's not why I'm here. I don't care about it enough to do that. But I do care about um, reaching people, letting people hear my voice that want to hear it, because there's a lot of people in my in real life circle that have told me, you need to, sh you need to share yourself more. You just keep yourself too hidden. Right, and I do, I do, I, I, I don't, I don't really get out much. So this is me getting out, I guess. Uh, so I know there's people out there that want to hear what I have to say. I guess I just don't have the the audacity to to do so. Uh, and it's funny. Speaking of audacity, there's this TikTok that I watched maybe two years ago. Audacity. Yeah, there's a TikTok that I watched two years ago, and it was about this very thing. Not only did I save the TikTok, but I also wrote out exactly what this person said. And I'll read you what this person said. The more self-aware you are, the less audacity you have. That's why mediocre, talentless people are out there killing it or getting the job you want. With self-awareness comes realistic thinking. People who don't do internal work are notorious for overestimating their capabilities. Live your life with the audacity of a talentless hack <laughs> who's never questioned if they're capable of doing it. I don't think I even have the audacity to do that. I'll see you again soon.